We're slowly making our way through all of my older sets that I haven't reviewed on the channel as today. We're taking a look at the 2021 TIE Fighter. This thing's three and a half years old. It doesn't feel that old and it still does look pretty good. So let's start by weighing it and seeing how much it's worth compared to the other sets around that time. So we have our scales, we have our Lego, we have our heading, and now it's time to weigh the scales. I'll be honest, I still haven't changed the batteries. It's becoming a sort of thing for these videos. Let me just make sure to reset that once I put it down. So let's see how long we can have the battery last. The tie fits perfectly on these scows and the scows are saying that I forgot to set the correct unit as well. So we're looking at 337 grams, which compared to all the other sets that I have reviewed, I think since about June, July time, when I started getting some of the new Lego sets, it is right for the time. It works out the same price per gram as the 2021 Luke Skywalker X-Wing that came out alongside it. So what is it about Lego sets that make them more expensive recently? Because the 2012 TIE Fighter that we looked at last week had quite a few large pieces on the wings. Well, this one doesn't have many large pieces. I think some of the larger pieces are these wedge plates on the side or perhaps even the one by plates and one by tiles. But this tie is made up of a load of smaller parts. So it doesn't make sense why this would have any effect on the set's price if smaller pieces, larger pieces have no effect. Perhaps it's the new molds in the new sets, but this tie does come with a cockpit, pretty much the only playability. Again, we get some flick fire missiles on the bottom here. They are the newer ones, the, well, no longer newer ones. They're the long green laser bolt pieces that I now have way too many of. And you can swoosh this tie around. I will admit it's smaller. It's not as fun to swoosh around, but perhaps if you're a child and this is like two times the size of your head, that will be pretty fun. We also get two other minifigures, so let's take a look at them. I think we'll start off with our tie pilot here because We've recently got a brand new one in the UCS TIE Interceptor and there's actually quite a funny coincidence because while the TIE Fighter in the UCS Interceptor doesn't seem to be much different to this minifigure, it only actually uses the same legs. We've recently got another version of this TIE Pilot in the TIE Bomber, the Fang Fighter and kind of in the TIE Interceptor as well. It uses a slightly different helmet there, you can see. There's none of those stripes you see on the version that came with this. It's more of a Special Forces TIE Pilot, almost. And the torso piece is a little smaller on the new version compared to the old, but the big thing is obviously going to be the printed arms, which are included in the UCS version. Now, Firestar don't actually have any TIE Pilot arms, but they do have arms that are somewhat similar and the head that they use for the UCS tie actually comes from the Stormtrooper we get in this very set which I think is a pretty cool addition but it is now the older Stormtrooper we have since got the white hip pieces biggest difference being the black printing around that crotch area which does affect the legs and also the chest piece seems to be printed a lot smaller I would much prefer getting a chest piece similar to this size and then them printing the belt design on the actual white hip. But the third minifigure we got was of course going to be a droid, but they switched it up and gave us this Death Star Protocol droid, which is really, really cool. Of course, last week we did get a look at that 2012 TIE Fighter, which come with a Death Star Astromech droid. And recently the UCS TIE Interceptor did come with a brand new build from MSE or a mouse droid, which does sit actually quite nicely on that display. If you know me, I'm a sucker for droids. Just take a look in the background. You can see servos just over here from the brand new Jedi Bob Starfighter. Again, both of these droids use fairly common pieces. So I was able to build them without splashing out 40 pounds or like 140 plus for the build. But I quite like this mouse droid, mainly because it's actually got a stud connection on the bottom and you can connect it. But anyway, back to this ship. Because I'm really interested to see just how it sizes up compared to the TIE Fighter we looked at last week. You can see there is 
quite a considerable size difference. The wings are a bit more sturdy on the newer version, but if you do own both versions, there's no reason why you can't take the wings off and connect them to each other. And as you can see, when the wings are swapped, there is a really big size difference beside these wings. But one of these is clearly meant for play scale. One of these is meant for, I'd say the 2012 one is still meant to be played with, but it is a bit more fragile and probably for a more mature audience or just simply to display on your shelves. Last week, we also managed to get both Ezra and Zeverelius in the 2012 TIE Fighter. So let's see if we can do the same with this one. As you can see, the cockpit is a lot tighter than the one we were looking at last week, and there's no way we can sit both of them back to back. So I think our best bet is to have one of the minifigures sitting down and see if we can just fold another minifigure in there. But I really don't think this is going to be possible. There is no way we can fit Ezra in there when Zeb is already in there, at least not a way where we can close everything fully. If we left the top open, we might be able to sit another minifigure just in front here. But as you can see, I just don't think this is possible. So if I had to pick my favorite between these two ties that we looked at this week and last week, I think hands down the 2012 one takes the cake. But the smaller one is definitely a much funner play model to be swooshing around. It's not as big as the tie and personally that does take some points away from it. But I do think in a kid's hands, they're going to prefer the smaller model. And I just wish it would have come with four minifigures, even a bonus Stormtrooper. We are getting one Stormtrooper roughly in each of these sets, even the brand new Star Destroyer and the Ahsoka set. But that's not enough to build an army. If you only have a handful of this sets, TIE Fighters, I have these two and I have the Bomber, which I turned into Vader's TIE as well. And there are videos out there if you want to check that out. Perhaps we even needed to get a Stormtrooper with the X-Wing or a Rebel Fighter so we can build our armies even more. I think Lego need to include at least two Stormtroopers in each of these sets. But I'm happy to have got one. I'm happy to own both of these sets because one of these goes for a lot more now than it was worth. And that is the older TIE Fighter, the new TIE Fighter retail for £40. I don't think I mentioned that at the start of this video and currently goes for as low as £26. It is literally the TIE Fighter no one wants. Now there's a catchy title. But I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know your favourite TIE Fighter down in the comments. There's a lot of love for that solo TIE Fighter which is basically just a more detailed 2012 version. I think both of them really hit the nail on the head and the Lego designers did an awesome job. But let me know if you are a fan of these play scale ships, this TIE Fighter, and we also see a Chibi scale in the new Yavin set because there's a lot of people talking about minifigure scale, but these smaller ships are so much easier to display on the shelf. Just look at all that space I need for both of these ties. There is another Star Wars ship arriving any day now so stay tuned for that review which will be on top of the Sunday one unless I manage to get it on a Saturday but I highly doubt that with the local delivery drivers but thank you so much for making it to the end of the video check out all the videos on screen and may the bricks be with you always